I made this Mrs. Claus cowboy Christmas hat to wear to a Christmas party. Let me show you guys how to make it. It's super simple. For materials, you need a plain cowboy hat. You can get these at Party City, Amazon, and pretty much any craft store. You'll need a feather bow of your choice. I chose chenille feathers, but you could also use marabou feathers. You need acrylic paint and glitter. You only need the paint if your hat isn't the color you'll need. You'll also need some Mod Podge. This is going to help to stick your glitter on. you also need some foam brushes to apply your paint and your Mod Podge. You can get these in a pack at Dollar Tree. Step one is to take your acrylic paint and then paint a light coat over the top of your hat. If your hat is already the color that you desire, you don't need to do this step, but my hat was white and I wanted it to be a red hat. I'm surprised this hat only needed one coat of paint. I thought it was going to need at least two coats, but one coat did the job. I'm also only painting the top of the hat. I don't want to paint the bottom because I want to leave that white. After your paint is dried, you're going to go ahead and take your Mod Podge, I like the glossy Mod Podge, and you're going to paint a light layer of Mod Podge over the top of that hat. As you're painting on that Mod Podge, you want to make sure it's not too thick. Any thick parts will take forever to dry and it'll make your glitter look kind of lumpy. So as I'm painting, I'm going into those thicker areas and I'm going to smooth them out so they're nice and flat. After you're done applying that Mod Podge, you want to move pretty quickly before it starts to dry. We're going to go ahead and take our glitter. I prefer a fine glitter, but you can use a chunky one if you want, and you want to spread that all over the hat. I like to start at the top of the hat because the glitter will eventually just fall down to the bottom and coat the glue down there. And then I'll just tap off any excess onto a plate and then apply that back onto the hat. After you're done applying your glitter, it should look something like this. Like I said before, if you didn't smooth those chunky lines out, you'd be able to see them on there. But because we smoothed the glue down and we used a light layer, it looks nice and even. So now we're going to let that Mod Podge dry and then we're going to go back in and add another layer of glitter once we're done. Now I tried to go in and add a clear coat to it, but I hated the way it looked. It gave it like a foggy look to it. So I'm adding another layer of glitter to cover that up. And then after you apply that second coat of glitter, this is what it should look like. We're going to put it to the side again and let it dry. While it was drying, I went ahead and cut out this Mrs. Claus sign using my Cricut. I just went in and typed in Mrs. Claus and I used the offset feature to add the background to it. I cut it out on cardstock and then I glued them together. Now that I had this dry, we're going to go ahead and glue that Mrs. Claus onto it. So I just took some hot glue and started laying a bead of glue onto the back of that Mrs. Claus. And then we're going to place it onto the front of our hat. Be careful while you're doing this because the glue is hot so you don't want to burn your hands. This next part is completely optional because when I finished you couldn't even see it. But I'm going to add a red ribbon around the bottom of the hat. I wanted to give the hat a little bit more dimension because it was looking kind of flat with just the glitter. And then this is what the hat looks like with the ribbon on it. I think it looks nice. Our last step is to add our boa to it. So what we want to do is add our boa around the brim of the hat. So to do that we're going to take our handy dandy hot glue. You're going to start at the back. I like to start at the back just in case I make a mistake. And I'm going to lay a bead of the hot glue right underneath the brim. Then I'm going to place my boa onto that hot glue. As I'm placing my boa, I want to make sure I add the center of the boa onto that hot glue. If you place the top or the bottom of the boa, it may appear too high or too low on the hat. But placing the center of the boa will give you some nice dimension. It will also be more secure because the center of the boa is what holds everything together. After I'm done adding my boa, I just take my hat and I fluff the feathers just so they can be positioned how I want them to. I want to make sure I can read that Mrs. Claus, so I'm going to move any feathers that are in the way out of the way. And then after that, you're done. This hat turned out so cute, guys. The glitter sparkles so well in the light. I cannot wait to wear this on Christmas. If you guys recreate this hat, don't forget to tag me on TikTok and Instagram. I'd love to see it.